In this lesson, we're going to look into adding external asset files to our web application, such as CSS files, JavaScript files, image files, or any other file, any other asset that you want to uh, have um, publicly accessible. I've uh, mentioned earlier that everything inside the web folder is um, publicly accessible. I mean, not the HT access if your web server is configured correctly, um, but uh, every uh, all the images, JavaScript files that you put in here will be accessible. Um, so one alternative is to create your image folder here, your CSS folder here. Another path um, which which I prefer is to keep the assets in their corresponding bundles so that you can keep your code um, as modular as possible. Now, where exactly in your bundles you need to put it? Well, it has to be inside resources and then public. Inside here you can have any kind of folder structure you want. Um, I've already put some CSS files. I'm using a, an open source theme called Flat UI and I've included the corresponding license in the, in the code. MIT license. Um, so you don't want to manually copy the stuff from here to your web folder. And S Symfony comes with a, a command that we can use. And we have basically two options. We can um, run this command so that it copies the files, or we can tell the command to create symbolic links to these, um, to these folders here. Um, I prefer the symlink alternative because then you don't have duplicated files within your project. But if you're using Windows, uh, keep in mind that Windows does not support um, symbolic links. The command that we'll be executing, well, let's go to the project root first, is um, assets install. If I just run this, it'll copy the files, but I want them to be sim links, so I'm going to use this option. If we look into our web folder now, you'll see that there's a bundles subfolder, and we have sim links to um, all the bundles that we that we that we have. Some of which come with Symfony. Let's look into this one and see that these are the files that uh, that we that we copied earlier into our bundle. Let me show you uh, a bit the code. The only things that I've changed have to do with adding divs and classes so that when I add the, the style sheets it's going to look good. And uh, how do we add this stuff? Well, there's a function called asset. Everything that you put inside asset has to do with this um, web folder. So if I want to have um, something in here, I just if, if I want to add something from here, all I need to do is add the complete um, path to that particular file. For example, um, the file that I want to include, it, it, the bootstrap file, is inside bundles, Zemba workout, bootstrap, CSS, bootstrap.css. So the paths might be a bit long, but who cares? And that's the second file I want to include, which is the flat UI um, template, which will give our web application a nice uh, flat design aspect, which is kind of the fashion nowadays. So it's that simple, it's that easy to include external assets in your Symfony web application.